Hola. Kinalito, a.k.a. Mahadi Selepe, the girl that calls for country's home. Welcome to my channel, guys. How are we? I haven't walked in such a long time. But it's not really a walk. I, I need to... I'm taking my keys to my neighbors. My spare keys. Anywho, yesterday, I probably won't post this if if it's too windy. But I hope you'll hear it. Yeah, yesterday. Hey, I had a really good Sabbath. I had a really amazing Sabbath. I was invited. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> My daughter was invited to sing for her friend's baptism. Ne? She she's singing with her friend. So I'm the transport. So that's where we went. Uh, it was so beautiful. It was such a beautiful service. And you know, it's so good just seeing young people giving their lives to Christ, you know, in that way. And the program itself, it was just beautiful. The powerful sermon, it was yeah and i really wasn't feeling like uh seeing people so it was good i'm not at my church i sat in the car and read the lesson myself like sabbath school lesson i had my own alone time in the car with god um you know not feeling like being with people and i went inside for church you know sitting alone under the mask which is wonderful because i've just remembered i'm supposed to be wearing a mask right now <laughs> this is so bad and he was under the mask so nobody you know i'm mas masked up so no one can see how you really feel <laughs> you're hoping your eyes don't give out don't give away much anyway so there, there is um there was a couple's thing there was a couple's thing yesterday so there's there's some friends that i met at this church that i was at and they were going to this couple's thing the couple's thing was actually at my church which i thought you know everything has just worked out so well because i don't even know how i was gonna face people at my church right after church i know some people because people are meant to be dressed up and stuff i see if i'm seeing my friends staying behind the church how was i gonna face them like uh, so you know god being god works in mysterious mysterious ways Be oh goodness i'm trying to hide my background so there was a the couple's thing at my church do you understand i'm already not feeling okay i'm not feeling okay i thought wow lord god made sure i'm not even at my church you understand during the week someone posted in the group uh in a whatsapp group that i'm in a flyer about this couple's thing you know it says how much it is i don't know if just during this week or last week you know this much this much couples whatever lunch uh, thing and i felt it i felt it i immediately muted the group archived the group okay life goes on but of course each time someone someone um responds in there because that group anyway so on sabbath there's some friends you know to, to support the baptism you know and then after some people are going somewhere else so i'm like oh uh, you're going home no we're going to i was like oh my goodness they mentioned they went to a couple's thing i'm like you know i kept a brave face oh okay no enjoy guys you know oh my goodness hey, hey. 
later when i get to you know i'm thinking oh my days as i'm driving home i'm driving to lunch so my friend who rias what is it Hali's friend's mom because Hali's friend was getting baptized so the mom has invited all his friends over for lunch so and their families so that's where i'm going when i get there i'm like you know just quite packed you know and stuff i was like hey you know i'm chatting to them to her and my other friend i'm like hey you helped me i just want to say to you <laughs> thank you for inviting me for lunch because i would be feeling so sorry for myself right now being the only one that's not at the couple's thing because you guys would have been at that couple's thing i would <laughs> i'm like thank you so much that you invited me now i you know i have something i'm doing i'm not i'm not feeling sorry for myself i am you know and man i'm just so grateful to god because it was such a we laughed we had such a laugh about this issue yesterday and <laughs> one of my <laughs> one of my friends are saying you should have gone <laughs> she's like could have made your own cardboard person and put him next next to you and <laughs> attend the couple's thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah so <laughs> we were laughing so much i was like oh yeah i should have i should have you know got to the cardboard check like Malapo's measurements and paint get a proper person that looks like him bring him and put him next to me and sit down in the couples they can't tell me you can't tell me what are you telling me i'm here i'm <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> I'm going around so I, cause I'm loving I'm trying to stretch my walk <clears throat> even though I'm not wearing walking shoes which is not very clever I'm just going to go behind the houses and come back um so yeah, we, we, we had quite a laugh about this. I'm just gonna wait here because there's people that are gonna pass. We had quite a laugh about this that you know I need to <laughs> that I could have gone. I could have just made my own um my own cardboard person, bring him and sit him down <laughs> and dress up and go to the couple. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or hire, hire a husband, you know, <laughs> bring a stranger, bring next time we like, okay, next time I'm registering, bring in a man, random man from the street, we come together, we sit there and, and look at them, see, <laughs> watch their reaction, <laughs> it was nice over lunch, it was really good, it was so good, and then when I go home, I don't know if I want to go that way, guys. I'm not wearing my walking shoes. My walking shoes are lifted. Uh, I'm starting to feel pain in my hip. My walking shoes are lifted to sort of level up my legs. Because my legs are not the same length since my accident. So I'm starting to feel pain in my hip. So I'll just go back home. Oh goodness, I hope you can still hear me. I think I'm gonna post it even if you can't hear me. Just to look at my face, right? Mm. Mm. My lips are so dry. Yeah, so so last night I'm taking back uh, the kids, innit? You know, I I I drove to that church with Harley and her friend. So I'm coming back. We have another friend as well. So I'm just, you know, coming back home with the kids. I'm dropping, I'm dropping it off at church. I get there. The thing has just finished. 
people are outside guys oh i felt so bad i felt so horrible i felt i even felt ashamed do you understand how do you feel ashamed like what, what did i do what am i feeling ashamed about i felt Ooh. it was horrible it was horrible it was just horrible Shh. Oh, I, I, I don't even I, I don't I, I don't know I can't put it in words the feeling I felt I just wanted to disappear I wanted it's like when you're walking you know how I felt I think that feeling would be like if I go to a place, ne? feeling myself and everything, and then I get there and and my husband is there with his new wife, and I didn't even know he was married, and she's pregnant. Like that, I don't know. Like I don't know. Like I. Uh, hey. <laughs> I was like, what? Is this now how I'm going to feel? Is this now how I'm going to feel about people living their lives? Is this how I'm going to be fe feeling now? And why? Wh what's this feeling? What am I feeling? What is it? Is, is it because I, I was excluded? Is it because I can't attend these things now? Is it? And why am I feeling like this? I was like, yeah, I know. Ah, you're not okay. I knew I'm not okay anyway. I was not okay anyway during the week. I haven't been okay. I mean, that's why I didn't even go to Saba school because I'm not okay. I don't want to be with people. You understand? I'm just going because I have to. Now, guys, I felt horrible. Like, oh my days. Oh my days like <laughs> i can't even <laughs> Ish, my arm is so painful uh, uh. i felt so horrible and i was so happy that yesterday i had a friend of mine i had a visitor um you know surprise visitor and it was so good that she's going through the same thing that I'm going through and it was so good that I was able to tell someone to honestly tell someone how I felt you know but I told my other friend as well I mean she's married she's happily married but I was telling her how horrible I felt how sorry for myself I I, I felt sorry for myself do you understand I got there I felt so sorry for myself I couldn't even look at my friends I got there I, I had my friends were all in the in the out thingy <laughs> people I haven't seen in a long time I'm telling you, I felt sorry for myself, and I looked at them, they were feeling sorry for me. I just wanted to die. I wanted to disappear. I wanted to say, F open, let me, swallow me now. Swallow me now, hide me. And I'm thinking, it, what am I feeling? Why am I feeling like this? I was like, yeah, no. And Diko, right? So if you want to attack me, if you wanna you want me dead if you wanna kick a dying horse this is the time to do it because right now i'm not okay like this is your time to do it <laughs> if you were trying to say things last time or we're gonna be trying to say it after now they're just gonna go over it's just gonna be why rolling eyes moving along or whatever Right now, there's no whatever, there's no moving along right now. Right now, I am at a space where, what? Joe? But yeah, I was just sharing with you guys that, goodness me, like, yeah, I was even thinking like, is this why like people can get into next marriages very quickly so that they're part of the social, circles of the married people you know what i mean or you go back to your egypt because it's because you're part of the people 
all my days like i i just to um you know to emphasize that you know this is not to make people who are married feel bad people shouldn't feel bad and i think that's what makes it worse actually it's when people feel sorry for you when people feel bad for organizing themselves nice things with their husbands because you don't have a husband anymore when people feel bad they also act different and that's what makes it worse that's what makes you feel it because people are acting differently they're not being normal about it you know they're feeling sorry for you those are things that would i think normally i'll just <sighs> anyway right now i'm feeling sorry for myself i'm feeling sorry for myself and yesterday was difficult it was really hard it was really really hard um but yeah i hear there's a singles <laughs> Uh, singles one getting organized so we can go talk with the single people like i don't know much about being single so i'll sit down and listen and just hear how other people are uh, deal with those things just to hear do other people actually feel sorry for themselves anywho yeah i just thought i'd come tell you oh my days like i still feel it i'm still feeling the pain even now and i'm thinking sure I'm just waiting for my appointment with my psychologist because I think that's the thing and I need to overcome whatever mood I'm in, even if I'm not okay, even if, you know, because this life is up and down. It's not just life of uh, divorcee or life, no, no, just life in, in general. You know you have good times, good days, and you have bad days. Just you watching this, you know. Um... Ah, do you guys want to see me? We're not even threading anymore. Let's see. You know, you know, some days are good, some days are bad. Um, now, the trouble is when you're going through something, of course, when things are bad, that's when you things get multiplied, you know. They, they get... Um, what's the word? Yeah, it just feels worse than when, when things are going good, you know. Um... So it will be interesting to hear. I mean, I know I have some divorced friends. Um, some people are not as emotional as, you know, I am. I'm an emotional person. But honestly, I think for me, I'm just looking forward to the day where I never have low. low when I'm having my lows, it's my lows about other things. It's not my lows about my marriage or feeling, you know what I mean? Let it be laws about other things, uh, you know. I mean, I'm going through so much. I've lost so much, uh, you know. But I guess for now, maybe for a foreseeable future. My life is about losing my marriage. That's what my life is about. You understand? It's about navigating life post that. It's about... Whatever, whatever happens, it's, it's surrounded by that. That's what it is, you know. <sighs> Hi. Anyway, peeps, thank you for watching. Um, this is much, much longer than I thought it would be. Um, but yeah, I've been looking forward to coming to back online. Because yesterday I read something that, oh man, I have to share. I have to share. Um, yeah, but yesterday, man, yesterday, it, it's, you know, when, 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 I don't know, it's like when you had, a, when you had, when you get a head injury, when someone hits you in the head, you know, you didn't see it coming or when, when something just comes and hits, pew, without you seeing, you seeing um, um, stars, you know, you know, in cartoons when stars are going round and round on the head, like, that's how I felt yesterday. It was a worst feeling, worst feeling. And I do not want to feel like that again. I do not want to feel
feel like that again. I don't. I don't. Because it was painful. It was painful. Very, very painful. Yeah. So, anywho, thank you for watching. Love you. Mwah. But remember that God loves you even more. And that is true. I'll see you in my next upload, which will be a much more positive one. Mwah. so much for watching everything now don't forget to subscribe and go back to my other videos and scroll and scroll and scroll and watch everything there's very good things in here very good interesting things you are number one number one now thank you and take care of yourself